Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Summertime Fun. Today, we're going to be making great, big, beautiful fish. In Genesis 1:22, it says that God created the ocean and he created all these beautiful fish. And he, you know what he did? He said, it is good. And then he blessed those fish, all those creatures under the sea. Now, this, today our story, our art project comes from Eric Carl's Mr. Seahorse. Now, you would think Mr. Seahorse doesn't have any fish in here, but you know what it does. And let me show you some of the fish that are in here. Now, Mr. Uh, Seahorse is the main character in here, but he has got some beautiful fish in here for us to look at. Now, let me get to that page. All right. These are some beautiful fish. Let's see. Um, um, as Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of leaves. And look at those fish. See how big and different they are and the different colors they are? And next, and before long, he came to another fish, and it's called Stick, Stickleback. And look how big he is. He's got a lot of eggs on top of him. And that is a beautiful color. And then he drifted on by, and he passed right by a lionfish. And he was hiding behind this coral reef. And look at this fish and the different colors he is. That is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, and look at this fish. This is a Mr. Pipey fish. And look, he's long and he has little, I guess those are little uh, eggs up under him. And look, his little tail looks like that. And he doesn't even have any fins. Oh, here's a fin right here. So in this book, it has a lot of beautiful fish that we're going to create today. And I look forward to doing that. Follow the link in the description box to get an example and information on what to do today. All right, now let me show you what you're gonna need for today. You're gonna need your 11 by 18 graphite paper. You're gonna need crayons. You're gonna need a color that you wanna use for your fish. And you want a color like turquoise or blue for your sea, the ocean. You're gonna want to have some scissors, some salt maybe if you like, some glitter if you like. If you want to, these are optional things, uh, tissue paper, some painted papers that you have on hand from your last project, and some water, and some paper towels. Today I'm gonna be using temper paint for my watercolor, and I'm gonna be using crayons to for the color resist. When you're doing temper paints, you wanna make sure you get it rich enough. You want to, um, like for your fish, when you stir it and get your color just right, you're gonna put a dabble of your paint in there and add about a half a cup of water and stir it up. And you're gonna test it. I feel like it's important to test it because it might get too light. So see, this is pretty dark for me. I like that color. But if you're not careful, you're gonna get it too light and it's gonna look like this. See how light that is? You can hardly see it. Also, with your crayons, you're gonna to have to be very careful and you're gonna to have to press down, not enough to break your crayon, but you wanna get it uh, dark enough so, it's so, uh, so you can see the fish. And see, I'm gonna press down kinda of hard. See how I'm doing that? That's how hard, if you do it like this, trying to be nice, <laughs> It's going to end up like this. You cannot even see the fish. You see that? You can't even see where the, the line is for the fish to color in. Now, also, one more thing when you're coloring your fish, when you're getting ready to decorate with the colors, if you'll look, you'll see a lot of spaces in there. It's important that you color your spaces that we're going to talk about when it's time. You want to make sure you color all the spaces and clear up all the white parts in the sections that you'll be coloring, okay? Also, you want to pick uh, for your, your ocean, you want to pick like a blue or a teal color would be pretty. I made a teal color. And uh, you want to uh, pick something, the watercolor for the fish, you want to pick it opposite from what the color is. You, if you did a pink, a blue fish and a blue sea, you're not going to be able to see that fish. 
So pick an opposite like red or yellow or orange, even a green fish would work. So think about that when you're getting ready to, uh, to draw your pictures, okay, and paint. All right, you ready to do some artwork? Mm -hmm. Are you our artists? Y'all go have a seat and we'll get started, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put a fish for a, uh, put an eye for our fish. Now you would think, why eye first? Well, that's usually the general way you start something is always at the head. But we're going to put the eye. And sometimes you might feel like you want to put your eye right here. But if you do that, you're just going to have a little fish. If you do uh, an eye right here, it's going to make it where you don't have a nose or anything like that. So what we're going to do, I just kind of get in here. And I'm going to put my eye about right here. And remember, we're using crayons, so you want to go a little dark with it. Not hard enough that you break it, but enough that you can see it very well. The next step is we're going to draw the top of the fish. And you're going to start about right here. Kind of like starting out with a C, and then you're going to curve over. And you're going to make sure that your line doesn't go past your paper, because if you do, your fish will be floating out of the water. So let's do that. So we're going to take your crayon. And you're going to go like a big smart happy face and see I'm stopping about right here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to stop. Okay? Now I'm going to do the bottom half of the fish. So I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to take it around and I'm going to go all the way like a big old happy face. And I'm going to stop just like that. Now let's do the mouth. What, the way I like to do it is give it real pretty lips. Uh, what you're going to do is do a V. And that's a nice mouth if that's what you want. That is fine. But to make the lip, you're going to take a line and put it just about right here. And then I'm going to make two C's. A C right here and a C right here. And look at those nice looking lips. But you might want to ha have it to have uh, teeth with Jagged teeth. So what you could do is when you here's your V, you go in and do just some jagged teeth. Just like that. That'd be pretty cool too, wouldn't it? So let's do that. Now we're going to do our tail. Remember right here? This is why we ended it right here so you have a space right here. You're going to take your tail and you're going to go up to the tip and come back down halfway. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to take your tail, bring it all the way to the end almost, and then come back up. So watch what I do. I'm going to take this, and take my tail, and I'm going to bring it way up here. And I'm going to make it kind of fancy on the way down. So I'm just going to do some curves like that. And I'm going to stop at about halfway between those two lines. Next, I'm going to take this other part. I'm going to come down to, right, to this corner right here. I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to take it and we'll do those crazy little lines again. And then we'll stop it right there. Now we're going to do some fins on our fish. And one thing, you can do the fins anywhere you want to because this is your fish. So I'm going to put my fin maybe right here, one of them right here. But I might want to put a, I might want to put a fin right here and I might make it wavy like this. You don't have to do what I do, this is your fish. Well, I might decide I want to put a fin like this. Just like that. Or I might want to do a fin like this. A little jacket fin. It's your fish, it's okay. Then you might want to put a uh, fin right here. And we'll draw this uh, like a halfway backwards C. And then I might give it just a little bump. Just like that. Little, just like that.
Now it's time to put some decorations on our fish. Now I'm going to start out with this fin, and you can pick up any of the colors that you want. I'm going to do a red for this one, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some uh, little stripes like this on the fin. And I might do some lines like this. And I might do some X marks for this fan, just to give it some something different to look like. And over here, I just might still do some lines like this. And for the tail, what I might do is go in and go over and back down, and maybe come up and go down like this. Now, my, what I want to do, what I'm going to do next is color this in. I might use several different colors to cover this, color this in. I think I'll go with the purple, and I'm going to color this in like this. And you want to color in pretty good because if you leave the white out, if you leave too much white inside the color that you're coloring, it'll be kind of spotty, just like I showed you earlier. Let me put one more right here. And here, I'm just going to take these colors on every other one. Maybe this one. I'm going to put way up there like that. See how I'm coloring up? And you're going to press a little hard with the color show. And then we'll go down here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take my uh, orange and color inside this. And what I'm going to do is just do some uh, little marks like this. And you can color them in. You can do anything you want to with your fish. And you can decorate it. You can put different colors like a rainbow on your fish. Anything that you want to do. I'm going to just kind of hurry through this. Like this. I'm going kind of fast, but I want you to take your time and go slow. Changing up my colors a little bit. And this one, I'm just going to do some checkerboards with every now and then. Just like that. I might go back in with my orange. Another thing you can do is up here you're going to put, want to put some bins and you might want to use uh, any color that you want. What you can do is take your color and just do a, a line like this if you wanted. You might just say, oh, I wish I had a desert line. Go for it. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be beautiful just the way you do it. And so I'm going to put some scales on here. Just like that. I put some more like that. Now, what I'm going to do is take a white. This white, when I put white in here, it's not going to let the color through because it's we're going to be resisting the color. So I'm going to put some white. You won't be able to see it when you draw it, but it will show through. You just can't wait to see how pretty this is going to look. And then I'm going to put a purple up in here on the ones I didn't put color on. And you're going to see how pretty this will be when I finish. Now see how I let that white? I don't want that. You've got to make sure you color everything so it will do just right. I think this one. And something else I'm getting ready to do that you're not going to be able to see right up front, you just have to do your best to guess, is I'm going to do some fins with just my white right here. And I'm going to do just like that. Get broke, but that's okay. Just keep going. We all break our crayons sometimes. And that is okay to do that. And I'm like, you, you might not like fins. You might just want some little circles. 
So you might just go ahead and just decor put you some circles up here. That would be fun. Just like that. Okay. Now, let's see you do, let me see what you can do now. Now it's time to do our ocean. Before we get started on the ocean, did you color the lips? If you haven't, go ahead and color those. And for the eye, I want you to take any color you want that you want the eye to be. And like this, I'm taking a purple, and I'm just gonna do a little dot inside that orange circle, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my white and go behind it so that it will, um, the white will show through when we add the watercolor. So next we're gonna do, let's say we're gonna do some um, uh, seaweed. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and we'll travel up, up. Guess what's in the way the fish? You're just gonna jump over and go over it and go up here to the top. And then you're gonna come back down, skip over, go all the way down. And then I'm gonna color it. Just like this. Go down here and I'm color them. And when you get to the bottom, make that little bottom have a little, a little wider. Just like that. Color it in real good. Remember, you got to color it in good with the crayon. Then I said, you know, I want another, I want a lighter gray to go with this. But I'm going to start here, up here. And I'm going to come down. And we'll come back right here. And then we'll skip over this. And then we'll follow it back down. I might do a twisty and put it right there. And then I'm going to color it in with a lighter green. You have to press hard. If it breaks, you don't have to worry about it. I know you saw Joy when her white broke that she was able to take the, uh, the paper off the crayon and she could continue using it. Just because it breaks, that's okay. It happens all the time. So I'm going to color this all the way down. Just like that. And then I might do another one over here. <clears throat> Just give it some little texture. And then go up, up, cross over the fish, and come back down, cross over, go back down. And then I'm going to color this. Just like that. Now it's got some seaweed behind the big seaweed. Now, you know what I might want to do? Something before I forget, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to make bubbles coming out of the fish's mouth. So I'm just going to do bubble, just a circle, color it in, another circle, another circle. I might put a few more circles up here. It's going all the way up to the top, just like that. And I might, I might want to put, you might want to put some little baby fish. So you can do that with any colors you want. So I'm going to do a little baby fish. Just like this. Color it in. I might want to put a baby fish right here. It's just whatever you want to do. Just make your fish your picture look even better.
now we're getting ready to paint our fish. The first thing we're gonna do is just paint our fish, nothing else. And I've got the color I'm gonna pick out for my fish, which is it's like an orangey red. You can use other colors too, as long as it doesn't match up with your ocean because then it'll be like a see-through fish. So we're gonna do that. And I want you to take your paintbrush and I want you to get really stirred the bottom in case any of your temper paint has um, settled to the bottom. Stir it around and get it pretty thick. Now, what you're gonna do is take your paint and you're gonna go over your fish just like this. And you don't wanna keep going over and over and over. You wanna just do one stroke at a time like this. Cause if you do, what happens is that paper absorbs that water and it'll start tearing maybe. And you don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go up here and look at that. See how that water resist, the watercolor resists that crayon you put on there? Look how pretty. And we'll get some more. And I'll come down. Now I put white right there. I'll come down, see how it's separating away from that white. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna even go over the, anything that's the fish, I'm gonna go over it with the, the paint, okay? Just like this. There's my little polka dots poking up, popping up. And see how I put that white right there? That kept it white so I could have a little eye in there. There we go. Now, my fish is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go just to the edge. I'm not gonna get into the water yet, to the ocean, because I don't want my ocean to be orangey red. And I'm gonna go over, just like this. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna get this uh, fin right here. Go over here and get this fin. I'm gonna color even where it's cut color. I'm gonna color it just in case there's some white left over. That color will get in there just like that. And go down. We'll bring some of that. Oh, look, see, see this uh, um, the scale showing up where I did the water, did the white. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is just beautiful. Now. And this will dry after it, it'll dry really pretty, but you want to make sure you color the white parts. Now I'm going to go down here and do this fin. I'm not going to get into the ocean. All right, I'm going to do my fin. Look how pretty. And then I'm going to do here. And there's that water resist. Look at it resisting that other color. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm going to finish up the tail. And just like that. All the way down. And see, it's important that you get your paints dark enough so the fish will show up. That is so important. If it's too, too liquidy, and it might, it'll just be a pale fish. And you want it pretty and bright. Okay, there's my fish. Now, it's your turn to do the fish. Next, we'll do the ocean, but wait till you, we finish the fish first. Now we're getting ready to paint the ocean. Now a couple of things I want to tell you. Some I love glitter. So and you might not like glitter. If you don't, that's okay too. I'm gonna clean my brush out and watch how I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna dab it. It's the orange and I'm just gonna clean it really good, okay? Now I went and put some glitter into my paint, my ocean. You don't have to, it's just gonna barely show up, but it might glisten every now and then when you show it in the light. And I'm going to stir it. Like I said, you don't have to do it, but since I love glitter, I thought I would do it. I'm gonna stir it around, make sure everything's off the bottom. 
And something you might not think about when you're using your paints is when you, even if you've got a lot of paint on it, you might want to just uh, do it to the side so it won't be just so drippy. Now, we're getting ready to paint just the ocean. And when we're painting, I want you to get just to the, you're gonna paint the grass, I mean the seaweed, the fish, everything that's ocean. But when you get ready to paint, I want you to get just to the edge of your fish, as close to the edge as you can, and pass the fin. So watch what I do so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I am going to, I'll start up here, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna go up around the, the fish, across the seaweed, because that's in the ocean. Go across. Just like, oh, do you see the bubbles coming up? Mm -hmm. There are bubbles. And I'm going to go around the fish, go around the lips. And I'm going to, see, there's some more bubbles. Isn't that cool how that, res, that those colors resist this watercolor? It just makes it so pretty. I'm going to go around the fish. And if you get on the fish, what it's going to do is just change colors. And I like to kind of not do that. So I'm going to go past this fin, up into here, down. I'm just kind of, I like the outline first. It just makes it easier so I can do, um, go a lot more with my, what, oh, I see some glitter coming out. Just like that. Now something else too, I'm gonna do this part. Now I can just paint. See that glitter coming through? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. And make sure you got something on your table so you won't get your watercolors on your paper. Even though your, your uh, temper paint should be water uh, washable, you just want it be, it's better just to be cautious with that. Now something else you can do while your paint is still wet, something I like to do, is take salt and sprinkle a little salt here and there, just on the water part. And after it dries really good, it will kind of separate and melt, and it gives a beautiful little um, misty look in your ocean. You'll want to do that while it's wet. I'm coming down here. So I'm going to go over that fish so you can see he's behind the water. You can tell that he's under the water, just like that. And what I like to do is turn my paper around like this so I won't get all up into my fish. Just like that, I'm gonna take it around. I'm anxious to see what your artwork is gonna look like. I can't wait for you to show it to me. Boys and girls, I can't wait for me to see all that you've done. I know I'm gonna have some great fish that you're gonna be showing me. And when I finish, I'll tell you how you can show me your fish. All right, I'm gonna go around. Now see, I left some white, so I'm gonna kinda of go up here and get that. Cause I don't think there's any white in the ocean, do you? And I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt over here. And then, come up. remember how I'm wiping, see how I'm wiping it? That helps so it won't just drip all over your, and if it drips on your page, it's okay. It's okay when it drips. It's perfectly okay. Of course, you're gonna have be on the table completely, and I'm kinda off this table. You'll do a better job than me. I know you will. So, there we have it. There is our painted background. Now, after they fit, they're gonna paint theirs now, and then we're gonna come back for the last part of getting our fish ready. Now that we've got our fish painted and our ocean painted, it's time to add some decoration. Now one of the things I like to do is, remember the painted paper you did a, I did a while back? Well, you can go back and you can um, 
cut out some seaweed. And I will always see which colors I like on this. And I'm gonna cut up, up some seaweed. Like, And I'm just guessing. You can draw it on the back side like we did before, but you don't have to. And I'm just gonna cut out some seaweed, just like this. And I might cut out a fish. I might cut out a fish right here. And it's just a, um, a fish, you know, an oval, like a rainbow. And I have a smile. And then you wanna put a little tail on it, just like this. And next thing you know, you have a cute little fish. Now, if you don't feel like you feel comfortable doing it, you know, just cutting and all that, that's okay. Turn on the back and draw out your seaweed and your fish and then cut it out. And use all kinds of colors. That'll be so much fun. So I've got several already cut out here. And um, now, and then you want to cut use some tissue paper. And I noticed I didn't put any leaves on my on my um, seaweed, so I'm gonna cut out some leaves. And all I'm gonna do is just cut and cut. And so I'm gonna cut out some leaves just like that. And then I'm gonna then we I'm gonna make a little flower. I think I'm gonna put a little pink flower. And what you do is take your little square and you'll just turn it and twist it, and then you're gonna open it up. Just like this, just like this. And then we're gonna glue it to our page, okay? So let's get started. We've cut out our seaweed. So you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna add water to it. And remember, when you use your brush, you have to rinse it out as soon as you can when you get through with it. So your brush, you won't ruin your brush, okay? I would rather you use an old brush. That would be better. Um, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stir my paint up. Now when you add the tissue paper to the, um, your, um, your, to your seaweed, think of this. It's so hard to do the, um, the glue on the seaweed. So just go ahead and paint your glue right here and then add your little, your little seaweed, your little leaf. Maybe I want to put one over here. And it's easier to do that, just like that. Then you can do that all the way up if you want to. And for your little flowers, what you're gonna do for this too, because it's the, the tissue paper kind of tears, I'm gonna put a little flower right here and I'm just gonna press that down. And yes, that will be sticking up a little bit, but that's part of our texture, that learning of our lesson. Now I'm gonna take my seaweed. I've cut out several shapes for seaweed. And I'm gonna put some seaweed in front of my fish, just like that. Now in here, I can use my paint, my glue on the back side of the paper because it's stronger than that, um, that tissue paper. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it about right here. And then I'm gonna put the other piece about right there, just like this. Like that, you see what I'm doing, girls? Just like that. And I'm gonna glue it down. Then I made I cut out some fish from my um from my paper, my painted paper, and I'm gonna put some fish. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a fish sit right on top of this fish, just like that. And maybe I'll take a uh, a pink one and I'll put some glue on the back. And maybe I'll have him sitting right here on top of that fin, just like that. And then I think I want to have some more leaves over here, so I'm gonna use that painted paper for my leaves. And I'm gonna put a leaf right here, just like that. See how pretty that is? And then you can do the same over here. You can take a, um, a leaf and you add it to your painted paper just like that or you can use the tissue paper that we made earlier and make a leaf for the this or you know why not an orange leaf i, I love orange leaves don't you like in the fall you double your paper up makes it easier to cut and cut out your leaf just like this that gives me two leaves i'm gonna use my paint 
my glue. Oh, it's not going to do as good there. I'll put it here, just like that. And I might put one right down here. There, just like that. So you can decorate all you want, just like that. And one fun thing that you could do, you don't have to, because I didn't mention it, but if you happen to go to a, the Dollar Tree or somewhere like that, you find a bunch of fun little um, eyes that you can glue on. And I was just going to see. That looks cute. Let's see if I would like a yellow one. Oh, that, that doesn't show up very well. I think I like the way the blue looks. So I'm going to take my glue. And I never mentioned the eye in the, the supply list. This came just like today, I thought about it. So, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree and go back and add your eyes later. So I'm glue that, glue it right on top of the eye. Now look how bright that looks. Doesn't that look great? So we're getting ready to, girls are getting ready to do theirs. I had a great time today painting Mr. Fish, and I want to thank my young artist for helping me today. Y'all did a fabulous job on your artwork, and I hope I get to see your artwork too. And I hope to see you next time. Next uh, two weeks from now, we're gonna have another art project, and I can't wait to see you. God bless you, and we love you. Bye. Bye.